Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Diamondbacks versus Phillies Major League Baseball matchup on Friday, August 9th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at PickDogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. You just go to PickDogs.com, click on the premium picks tab. I've also put a link in the description, make it nice and easy for you. Of course, uh, you know, if you make big bets, like $1,000 or more per game and have like a $10,000 bankroll, we have VIP packages for you as well. Of course, um, you just got to text the number you see on the screen. Our most popular packages are regular premium picks. We know those VIP packages aren't for everyone. And of course, we've got tons of free picks for the smaller betters as well. But anyways, let's get to it. We've got the Diamondbacks taking on the Phillies. And uh, these are two postseason teams that we're looking at right here. Of course, the Diamondbacks went to the World Series last year. The Phillies in the World Series two years ago. But both these teams lost in the World Series. And they'd love to get back and get some redemption. You know, the Diamondbacks have been about as hot as it gets coming at it pretty much nowhere to leading the uh, National League wild card. Still have an outside shot to win the um, National League West. It's certainly not out of the question, you know, with the Dodgers having their share of problems with injuries. But, you know, the thing is they also had built up a pretty substantial lead over time. But still, it is just three games in the loss column. So, and there's plenty of games left to be played. So it should make it a lot of fun down the stretch for the rest of us. The Phillies have kind of put away the National League East, considered one of the tougher divisions in baseball with the Braves with the injuries the Mets kind of their inconsistency all kind of being their undoing it's been the Phillies who've been able to take advantage of it they've certainly have had some bumps in the road even recently and even losing you know several games at home but um, you know at the same time you know they had played such a such so strong early that uh, they were they're able to withstand the storm Zach Wheeler getting the ball here for the Phillies and coming off another solid performance something that we see from him a lot he was following up though on a seven run allowed performance against the New York Yankees but overall we know that Wheeler is like a zero one or two runs allowed type pitcher he will have some bumps in the road earlier this season against the Orioles he gave up eight runs so it's not like it never happens but it's rare um, he comes in with a 2.77 ERA allowing 14 home runs 41 walks ironically in that Yankees game he gave up three of those uh, three of those 14 home runs so you know, pretty pretty sizable amount of it came in one game. He's got a 3.15 ERA over his last three starts. And while I've been critical of Wheeler over the years, it's not critical of him. I just think the odds that we see on him are generally just so ridiculous. Um, you know, he's just a starting pitcher. He generally isn't going to go the whole game. But the thing is, when he's efficient with his pitches, he can go seven innings and then some. For the uh, Diamondbacks, it's Ryan Nelson on the mound who started to bounce back from a pretty rough start. But then two of his last three starts, he's allowed four runs in each of those. Both of those, though, were on the road, one in Kansas City and one against Pittsburgh. So against two pretty decent teams. And, you know, overall, the Diamondbacks have won his last six starts. He hasn't gotten the win in each of those games. But the Diamondbacks have. And, you know, you go a little further back. I mean, they, they've they won eight of his last 10 starts. So Nelson certainly uh, producing some results for the team. 4.65 ERA on the season. 10 home runs allowed, 28 walks, uh, 123 hits over just 110 innings of work. Over his last three games, a 4.00 ERA. When we look at the way these teams are playing coming in, the Phillies just 7-15 and 15 in their last 22 in Arizona. And we look at the way these teams are hitting right-handed pitching recently. The Diamondbacks at 275 versus righties over their last 10 game, while the Phillies at just 231 over their last 10. Both these teams crush left-handed pitching, and both these teams have bad bullpens. To me, two decent pitchers, two teams that can hit the baseball, but the Diamondbacks hitting it just significantly better lately. Just tough to go against a team when they're this red hot. I'm going to take the Diamondbacks, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use, your, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help get in the most favorable bets on the board today.